assalamu alaikum students our topic is font finder uh, how to find any font from any script or from any paragraph or from any image how can we find that it's very hard to find any font's name we can uh, remember the shape of the font but sometimes we never remember the name of that font like andrew gothic times new roman sans serif serif and so on so many fonts millions of fonts but how can we remember them by their name so this is the our topic today and the topic of this video is font finder in adobe illustrator so uh, sometimes client ask for a font that uh, i want to use andrew gothic font in my logo or in my uh, what do you say in my brochure i want in my brochure the title should be in andrew gothic how can i understand what is andrew gothic if i can't see that font in my life so to uh, remember uh, which font he is demanding today's class is to how to find those fonts so uh, before starting uh, today's lecture i request all of you to subscribe like and share my video so you can see the latest updates about my uh, latest upcoming maya 3d after effect premier uh, cartoon animation and so on all the uh, softwares videos almost 35 software tutorial will be uh, here in media guru so i am going to illustrator as you know i am taking a page i just click this uh, a4 size page and it will give me a postcard uh, a passport uh, पासपोर्ट वर्ड आई एम सेइंग पासपोर्ट नहीं बल्कि क्या कहेंगे इसको एक होता है लैंडस्केप एक होता है पोर्ट्रेट पोर्ट्रेट साइज पेज और वर्टिकल पेज व्हिच इज पोर्ट्रेट एंड इफ यू मेक इट हॉरिजॉन्टल लाइक इफ यू डबल क्लिक ऑन दिस ऑप्शन आर्टबोर्ड यू विल गेट दिस ऑप्शन व्हिच इज लैंडस्केप एंड पोर्ट्रेट आई जस्ट क्लिक लैंडस्केप एंड देन इफ आई क्लिक ओके नाउ इट्स लैंडस्केप बट बिफोर डूइंग एनीथिंग यू शुड गेट रिड ऑफ दिस बाउंडिंग बॉक्स how to get rid of this bounding box just click this selection option okay now it's done <coughs> okay so uh, now the main thing is how to find the font first thing i am going to show you that i click uh, google and from google i just uh, click here the name of the website dafont.com if you want to write it down just write it down or remember this very easy name dafont not the font it's the font d a f o n t millions of uh, fonts here but uh, categorize they categorize each and every font like fancy these all are fancy if you click this uh, old school these are fancy fonts but the name of the font also is visible here uh, university by this and that if you want any if you want to use any one of them how to use them i am going to show you this uh, font is some sort of initials you see if you want to uh, use these initial type font you can also use them and uh, these are foreign look like mexican the look of this font is mexican no matter uh, is it in english or german or anything but the feel is mexican you see it's in english but the feel is mexican you you assume that these uh, things are written in mexican but this is not the mexican language this is english but the feel is mexican okay you can download each one of them just by clicking here i am going to show you practically how to download like uh, this techno square techno okay minecrafter and so on <coughs> or uh, script uh, like calligraphy a calligraphy like font let's suppose if i download this font the name of this font is rough anthem as you see also in this initial rough anthem is the name of this font and as you click download now it starts download within few seconds uh, and it's done it's done uh, now how can i check that either this font is here or this one is someone else you just click this a sign double click this one this one is italic this one is i think regular you, you just double click this and you will get the feel of that uh, font it takes some time yes so this is the feel of that you in uh, your early ages i think you just do that when i learned how to type i was learning typewriting 
then I use this sentence over and over again to make my typing better. The sentence is the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. You remember all of them? If you do not remember, if you want to improve your typing, just type it again and again. All the alphabet from A to Z are inside this sentence, okay? all of them. So, it is good for you to if you just type it again and again. So, this, wa this was the font, this was the font. <coughs> so, how to install it I am going to tell you within a second. So, just I minimize it and uh, let me download another font which is uh, I hope the recording is on, yes. So, the second font is let us suppose holiday, Valentine's. So, in all the fonts are in Valentine formation, okay. You can download them or 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 if you take this Halloween, this is very drowny fonts, okay. <laughs> you know what? A font with a touch of horror. You can see creepy font. Yes, sir, I am scared. You are looking like a, um, no, I do not want to say you are a creepy one, you are not a creepy one, but uh, they are very. Uh, wo kya hai? Drown hai, or just like this witch with a broom and uh, this what are these watermelon uh, with eye and mouth. So, they are very horror, uh, very very scary, scary text. Look uh, like uh, this zombie text have bone inside it, you see. A very creative one who created this one. Let me download this. I also zombie text, zombie city. So, now check it out either this one is the font or not, double click it, yes this one with bones you see, okay. So, now how to download them? So, first I just uh, off this, I just close this website. Now, how I can uh, get this font here? So, the first one is uh, rough anthem, the second one is zombie city. So, uh, first of all you just open windows, uh, I go into my computer and then C drive, windows you see, in C drive you will find this window option. In windows you have to find fonts, here is the fonts, you see it, yes. clearly fonts. As you double click it, it will show you how many fonts are already installed in this window folder, almost uh, 493 items, that means 493 fonts are still in this library, I am going to add two more, then how many will be there? 495, yes, 495. So, first I drop this rough anthem, uh, both of them inside this, it is already 495. If the font is already present in it, then it will show the error that uh, do you want to replace it or remove it, whatever but if it does not have those fonts. But now the second one zombie city, I just drag this zombie city inside this folder. Now they are 496, but somehow it shows only 495, 495. okay done. Now what uh, either I have, I have to close this uh, illustrator or not, I do not think so, okay, I have to close this and start once again, mm -hmm. but let us see either it is uh, updated or not. So, I just take a text tool from here, the first one is rough anthem. If I just click here and I type in capital rough anthem, I just click selection then I increase the size without stretching or squeezing by pressing shift, okay. Now find it out, you double click this, you select all of them and now find out <coughs> what was the name rough <coughs> anthem. You just click here as this one is highlighted, you just type rough, you get the font. Both of them are uploaded, you can see the formation here, you can see the type of font here, yes, it is uploaded. So, rough anthem, this is the font. I type my name, very good, okay, it is done, very easy, okay. So, you can use it, you can uh, apply any effect on it. Now, the second one, the second, uh, let us suppose this is the first one. Now, the second one, let us suppose I write zombie city, zombie city. I just highlight this and now I am searching for this, sorry, I am searching for this font.
So type the name zombie. Here is zombie city. You see, it's automatically updated. But if you don't drop that font into that fonts window, then you will never update your Illustrator and Photoshop fonts. This will be automatically appear in 3D Max, in Maya, in After Effects, in Premiere, in any software which is present in this computer. You can access this font very easily. Now here you got this. Oh, something wrong I think. I just make a mistake. So I just again I am going to give it the name Zombie City. Something wrong. Zombie City. I click here. Yes. Now it is finalized and you get this font. You can change the color or not. You just select them. You just click the color and it is there. Okay. Understand? Very easy. Now about the font finders. How to find any font written on a paper or printed on a paper or printed on an image. So just uh, uh, go to Google and then type in Google search font finder. It's better if you introduce a letter before font that is online font finder. Press home key then type online font finder. Okay, This should be the title. You, you should search by this name. Press enter you will get millions of web page. The number one is my fonts. Number one website. What, uh, what the font? Okay. If I control click this uh, website you get this website open in another tab and these are the font uh, ok where is the image uploading option in this page I can't see anyone uh, except cookies where is it can you see it here uh, search fonts and for but you have to type the name of that font I want to let me do another thing. Uh, online font finder from image. Yes, this should be the name. Uh, the same thing appeared once again. I do not think so. This one is different. Uh, yes, here you get this type and paste your URL image. Uh, but this is URL or upload an image. Yes, this is the option. Let us suppose if I upload my image which is this one Biba's font inside this page. If I just drag and drop this uh, image into this website and drag it here, see either it is uh, yes, it is uh, identify the font and uh, it show me that either this one is the font or that one is the font. Both of them are. So, identity uh, I just say ident uh, identify font now it's identifying hello the name is result for bbus so this is the font okay and i think it's showing the name here is the name you see bbus so these are the identical fonts here and it give you the price it's free 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 but not here not free 19 dollars <laughs> your pocket money okay your monthly pocket money 19 dollars how many okay if you say how much is 19.99 dollars 19.99 dollars multiply by how much 285 oh, oh so this is the amount not too much but 5697 rupees this is the amount for only a single font so just uh, ready for that and you will get free font also here so you can download them now uh, take another uh, experiment also if I just uh, drag the other image in uh, the second image is this one or this one naval gothic ok I just try this one which contains two more two or more than two fonts I just drag it do, uh, down in onto this website and now what is it does not understand the font <laughs> upload the image I think this image is not useful ok. So, it is a what is the one it is puzzled this uh, what is the chariya ho gaya hai, hai? <laughs> so, so, 
the third one and then I drag. Okay, now the third image. Let's see. Yeah, it's working. Either this one or this one. Okay, anybody. Just identify this font. It's Novel Gothic. The name of, actual name is Novel Gothic. Yes, you got this. Perfect identical font and uh, some uh, $39, $11 and maybe $0, maybe, maybe. but not here, yeah, not here, not uh, acceptable here. All of them are paid. You have to pay for these fonts, but they are identical. In this manner, at least you will get the name of that font. If you don't know the name, actually I just pick uh, some images with the name inside it. But let's suppose my name is written and it's Andrew Gothic. It will find the name automatically. At least you get the name. So just type that name into the dafont.com yes. and you get the your font. And the other way to find uh, this uh, novel, uh, novel Gothic text is just type free novel gothic font download this is the pakistani trick phokad bolne phokad mein phokad mein phokad mein trick hai theek hai so if you want anything in phokad you just do this and uh, no copyright nothing just get it and use it and enjoy okay so we all enjoy like this so here you download free download nothing to give just download and enjoy and uh, in this way you can complete your projects using uh, you can complete your portfolios so i hope you understand what i say now you can uh, you can uh, what do you say investigate the word you can find any font from any page from anywhere and no matter what font it is that you will get the name automatically by using this trick okay so i hope you like today's uh, tutorial so see you in next class inshallah please subscribe like and share my channel see you soon in another interesting tutorial allah hafiz